Kate, we traveled about four hours east of Pyongyang to visit a ski resort that has significance in the recent talks we've been watching between the North and South over the Winter Olympics. This, we're told, is a place where athletes from the North and South will be training together. We were also invited here, I would suspect, because it is not what people expect to see in North Korea, a modern uh, ski resort. It's got patriotic music and videos playing from a screen here and a lot of families out enjoying themselves. We've spoken to some of those families, people expressing a sense of optimism that the two countries are speaking together, a sense of pride that they will be uh, competing together in the Winter Olympics and also some expressing a sense of greater security given a chance to ratchet down some of the tensions. None of this, of course, erases the issues of the uh, nuclear program here. Uh, that has drawn the attention and criticism from around the world and certainly the crippling sanctions that have caused so much uh, uh, hardship in this country. Not evident here, uh, obviously, but something that they are dealing with here. We'll continue our reporting this week on NBC Nightly News, but for now we'll send it back to you in New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.